Okay, everybody, it's official. I'm back on the lion diet. Today, I just wanted to show you how I meal prepped and prepared myself to jump back into this challenge. My goal is to do it for 90 days. Just ruminant meat, fat, salt, and water. And I know how important it is doing this to be prepared. And so that's what I wanna share with you guys today is how I set myself up food prep wise to be successful for at least my first probably seven to 14 days. We'll see how long it takes for me to eat through all of this stuff. But I've had some really nice sales going on at my local grocery store slash Sam's Club that I've stocked up on. And so I'm gonna be sharing everything that I broke down over the last couple days and prepared here, as well as some things that I already had prepared. And if you've watched any of my recent recipe videos, you may already know about these things, but they're all um, lion diet friendly. So this is how I'm getting ready to jump into this 90 day challenge. And I hope it gives you some ideas. So without further ado, let's look at meal prep for the lion diet. Okay, so you can kind of see my grocery haul here. This is just the stuff that I picked up at the store this day, and I'm gonna be processing all of this and portioning it out and preparing it to be made into different things. Whole briskets have been on sale at my local grocery store and at Sam's Club for the past few weeks I've seen them. And so that's something I pick up and I just try to cut this down into reasonable sized chunks, a little bit bigger than cubed, I would say, and then even out the fat and lean parts of this. So I'm just kind of cutting all of this whole brisket down into pieces and then distributing those into vacuum seal bags. And then I'm going to vacuum seal all of those and put them in the freezer. Next, I've got a roll of 80-20 ground beef here, and this one's really easy. I'm just going to be opening up this package and separating this out into different freezer bags. So let's see how many I get out of this roll. I've got three Ziploc bags now full of just 80-20 ground beef, and a couple of these will go in the freezer and one will probably go in the refrigerator to be ready to make into burger patties. Next up, we have our roll of leaner ground beef. This is 90-10, and I got this from Sam's Club. This is the leanest beef that they have in the big rolls, which are more economical. It's a better price per pound, and so I purchased this to make all of it into jerky. And if you haven't yet seen my ground beef jerky recipe video, I'll link it below. It's a really great uh, lion diet friendly snack to have on hand. Obviously, I'm gonna be adding some fat to this though because it is very lean, but this is really easy to just press into the trays of the dehydrator, which is all I do, and then I sprinkle it with a little bit of salt and turn that thing on for anywhere from four to six hours, sometimes a little bit longer, depending on how thick or thin I get the jerky down in the trays. So I'm just gonna do as much as I can to fill up the five trays in my dehydrator here. And then whenever that batch is done, I'll just continue filling up the dehydrator until that entire 10 pound roll has been turned into jerky. Then I just cut them up and put them in Ziploc bags or storage containers of some kind and put them in the fridge. I also picked up some bone-in loin lamb chops from Sam's Club while I was there. They looked good to me and I haven't honestly eaten lamb in a really long time. 
and I've gone through periods where I really like lamb, but then I felt like I needed a lot of seasoning, like a lot of the rosemary spice rub stuff on there to make it taste good. So I was a little bit worried I wouldn't like these, but I put some in, in the air fryer last night and they were really, really good. But I do have those kind of dry aging in the fridge, as you can see here. I do that also for Ben's steaks. You can see there's a ribeye in the background there, but these little ones up front are my lamb chops. And I got that tip from Dr. Chafee where in the video where he shows him opening up his fridge and it's just all these big chunks of red meat, just kind of dry aging in the fridge. And so I thought I'd try those that way. So that is why they you see them sitting in the fridge like that. And then next to that, I have my tray of raw grass-fed beef fat. Now I've been able to source this from a local butcher, which I'm super excited about. I've been getting this for about, I think $4 a pound, a two pound bag was $7.99. And so this has been a really great find and this is delicious air fried. And so that is typically what I will do with this. But to make this easy for myself, I just put it all out on this sheet pan here in my fridge and just break it up into smaller chunks. So they're just kind of grab and throw in the air fryer and they go great with those 80-20 ground beef patties. And then you can see here my Lion Diet meat drawer. It's kind of separate from the rest of the things that we have in the fridge, like any pork products or anything else, just so I can know if my drawer is full or not and I'm ready for the day ahead. So I've got my 80-20, my bag of 80-20 ground beef here, and also any leftover of that lean beef that still needs to be made into jerky, and I have those labeled so that I can easily tell them apart. And then behind that, I have a bag of raw lamb fat, which I just found at the same local butcher. So I'm gonna be trying that. I haven't eaten it yet, but we'll see how that goes. And last but not least, in my freezer down below, I have some 80-20 pemmican bars, and I recently put up a video about how I make these specifically for a high fat 80-20 style carnivore diet for that ratio. But in that video, I also show you how to tweak that to really any ratio you want. And if you're not tracking and you're not really concerned with specific fat to protein ratios, you can just kind of do it the 50-50 way, the super traditional way. But that video is there if you want to learn how to make those. And of course, they're lion diet friendly because all I used is beef tallow, ground beef that I dehydrated myself, and salt. And we already talked about the jerky, but here is the jerky hanging out in the drawer up top. So that's a snack that everybody in the house really likes. And I feel like I'm going to be probably struggling to keep up with producing enough jerky for this household. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so that's how I have prepared myself to jump back into the lion diet. This is all the stuff that I'm planning to eat over the next week to a couple weeks. I'm sure this will last me longer than seven days. And next I plan to prepare a video showing you the exact meals that I'm eating, how much is in those meals, the fat to protein ratios in case you're curious, and more details about cooking times and, and what I paired together for the lion diet. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye.